Solve this, and you might get selected in Amazon, not as a driver, but as a software engineer. Imagine a pie so huge that it can easily feed 100 people. Now, these people decide to follow a very unusual rule for sharing the pie. The first person takes 1% of the whole pie. After this, the second person steps forward and takes 2%, but not of the whole pie, instead only of the pie that is still left. Then the third person takes 3% of whatever remains after person 2. This continues all the way until the 100th person, who takes 100%, or all of whatever tiny bit is still there. The main question is, which person ends up getting the largest portion of the pie? And the challenge is that we are not allowed to use calculators or computers. So, can you solve it? In order to solve it, we want to figure out what part of the original pie each person receives. For the first person, this is straightforward. First person takes 1% of the entire pie, which is simply 1 out of 100 of the whole thing. For the second person, we first need to calculate how much pie is left after the first person. Since the first person took 1%, 99 out of 100 of the pie is still there. So, the second person takes that 99 over 100 and multiplies it by 2%, which means 2 over 100. Next, we move to the third person. Before calculating the third person's share, we need to find the amount of pie remaining after person 2. That leftover amount will be 98% of 99 over 100, or this multiplied by 98 over 100. Once we have that, the third person takes 3% of this, or 3 over 100 of that leftover pie. By now, a clear pattern starts appearing. For any person number K, the portion of pie they receive is the remaining pie after all the earlier people multiplied together and then multiplied by k, percent or k, out of 100. This forms a general formula. Let us simplify this formula. How many terms are there here? This is 99 minus 0, then this is 99 minus 1, and so on till 99 minus k minus 2, which means we have k minus 1 terms here, and this one more term makes it k terms. So this means we have 100 multiplied k times, and thus the denominator becomes 100 raised to the power k. Let us separate this k over 100 raised to the power k. OK, now multiply and divide the following terms. 99 minus k minus 1 times 99 minus k, and so on till 1, which is 99 minus k, minus 1 whole factorial. So, the denominator is this, but the numerator is nothing but 99 factorial. Now expand this denominator to get 100 minus k factorial. So after simplification, person k, which we will label as a subscript k, gets this much pi. Next, to understand whether the slice of pi sizes are growing or shrinking from one person to the next, we look at what the next person, or person k plus 1, receives. We write the expression for person k plus 1 exactly the same way by just writing k plus 1 in the formula. Now we compare the two shares by dividing the share that person k plus 1 gets by the share of person k. This comparison tells us whether the slice keeps getting bigger or whether it starts getting smaller. First of all, let us group the like terms together like these two, then these two, then these two, and then finally these two. 99 factorial disappears. Now 100 minus k factorial becomes 100 minus k times this factorial. So we have 100 minus k in the numerator. Now this becomes 100 raised to k times 100, and thus this cancels out. Now comes the key idea. The slice for the next person, k, plus 1 will be bigger only if this entire fraction is greater than 1. So we form an inequality saying that this fraction should be greater than 1. All the terms involved are positive, so we can safely cross-multiply and then simplify it. 
On expanding it, we get this. 100k gets cancelled out, and we get 100 greater than k square plus k. So we get a clear condition. The slice grows larger as long as the quantity k squared plus k is less than 100. k, or the person numbers, are whole numbers starting from 1, 2, 3, and so on. If we try values, we find that this inequality holds for k from 1 up to 9. But when k reaches 10, this becomes more than 100, and the inequality fails after that. So for k equals 9, we get a of 10 greater than a of 9. But for k equals 10, we get a of 11 less than a of 10. This means the amount of slice increases up to person 10, but after that, it starts decreasing. Therefore, the person who gets the largest slice is person number 10. And that's our answer. Now, just out of curiosity, we can also compute the exact share of the pie for person 10. After simplifying, the final value turns out to be around 6.28% of the whole pie. As a fun coincidence, this number is very close to the quantity 2 times pi divided by 100. So this means that we started with 1 pi and wound up with 2 pi. <coughs> like, share, and subscribe. So good.